Medical Examiner provided graphic testimony Tuesday about what killed former college lacrosse player Yardley Love. Her ex-boyfriend is on trial for her murder. NBC's Lilia Luciano joins us now from Charlottesville, Virginia with more. Lilia, good morning. Good morning to you, Natalie. Today, the defense begins presenting its case in the murder trial of University of Virginia lacrosse player George Hughley. On Tuesday, prosecutors introduced forensic testimony about the violent struggle between Hughley and Yardley Love, his on-again, off-again girlfriend. His defense denies that he killed her. On trial for murder, George Hughley walked into court animated, smiling and chatty. Prosecutors say a violent and jealous Hughley killed Yardley Love. One expert testified that Hughley's DNA was under Love's fingernails and Love's DNA was under his nails, a clear sign of a struggle. Hughley has admitted kicking open Love's bedroom door and wrestling with her. He told police that he shook her a little and may have grabbed her a little bit around the neck. But medical examiner Dr. Bill Gormley testified that Love died from blunt force injuries to the head, injuries so severe they made her heart stop beating. If the cause of death is blunt force trauma and he's the last one that with her, he's in big trouble. This week, jurors saw photos of Yardley's face battered with bruises and cuts, her right eye swollen shut with signs of violence on Love's legs, back, chest, and arms. Prosecution wants the jury to see all the injuries. It's going to appeal to their emotions, and they're going to see that this woman was traumatized, and that can't help but help the prosecution. The defense has claimed Love could have died accidentally from a deadly mix of Adderall and alcohol. But the medical examiner said Love's Adderall levels were too low to kill her. And even though her blood alcohol level was nearly twice the legal limit, the medical examiner testified that had nothing to do with her death. The defense was scheduled to start calling in witnesses on Monday, but with prosecutors taking longer than anticipated, Hughley's defense is expected to begin laying out its case later today. The trial will likely continue into the weekend. Natalie? All right, Lily Luciano in Charlottesville, Virginia. Thank you, Lilia.